Marcia Gay Harden has carved out an illustrious career in film, television, and theater over the years. Revered for her diverse roles and remarkable acting prowess, she's become a notable figure in the entertainment industry. But beyond the spotlight, her personal life, particularly her 2012 divorce from Thaddeus Scheel, has been marked with its own set of challenges. Recently, Marcia has opened up about her future plans and offered a glimpse into her love life, shedding light on her journey of healing and self-discovery. Join Facts First as we present She Got Divorced 10 Years Ago, Now Marcia Gay Harden Speaks Out. Early Life Born August 14, 1959 in La Jolla, California, Marcia Gay Harden spent her early years living in various places due to her father's job as a naval officer, including Japan and parts of Europe. This constant movement instilled in her a love for travel and an appreciation for diverse cultures. She was drawn to the arts from a young age. She attended the University of Texas at Austin and later earned a Master of Fine Arts degree from NYU's prestigious Tisch School of the Arts. It was there she honed her craft. Her professional journey in the world of acting began with theater. Her Broadway debut came in 1993 when she starred in Tony Kushner's Angels in America, for which she earned a Tony Award nomination. Her mesmerizing performances on stage opened doors to roles in television and film. Her film breakthrough came with her role in the 1990 Coen Brothers film Miller's Crossing. But it was her powerful portrayal of artist Lee Krasner in Pollock in 2000 that truly highlighted her acting prowess. This earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her Career Blossoms After Angels in America and Miller's Crossing put her on the map in both stage and screen, she continued pursuing roles that further cemented her as a premier acting talent. Here are some of the other highlights from her illustrious career. Mystic River Directed by Clint Eastwood, this film saw Harden star alongside Sean Penn and Tim Robbins. Her performance was widely lauded and the film itself became a critical and commercial success. Code Black In television, Harden took on the lead role of Dr. Leanne Rorish in this medical drama, displaying her versatility. God of Carnage Returning to the stage, Harden's role in this play not only earned her a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play, but also showcased her continued dedication to theater. The Newsroom in this acclaimed HBO series, created by Aaron Sorkin, Harden played Rebecca Halliday, a lawyer, showcasing her ability to shine in ensemble casts. Fifty Shades series In this commercially successful film series, Harden took on the role of Dr. Grace Trevelyan Gray. Her most recent project is as one of the leads on the CBS legal drama So Help Me Todd. She plays the mother of the star character Todd, played by Skylar Astin. Todd is a private detective who, despite having decent sleuthing instincts, is quite aimless. He's also the black sheep in his family, so he goes about seeking help from his mother Margaret by agreeing to work at her law firm. Marcia's Marriage and Divorce Marcia married Thaddeus Scheel, a prop master, in 1996. Together they have three children, Eulala Grace and twins Julita D and Hudson Harden Scheel. Over the years, while balancing a busy career, Marcia placed great importance on being present in her children's lives and often spoke about the joys and challenges of motherhood. But in 2012, after nearly 15 years of marriage, Marcia and Thaddeus decided to divorce. The news came as a surprise to many, given how privately they had lived their lives. The couple released a joint statement at the time of their separation, emphasizing their commitment to their children and requesting privacy. Following the split, Marcia opened up about the struggles of being a single mother and going through a public divorce. She often discussed the resilience required to move forward and the importance of finding a support system in friends and family. James Gandolfini helped her get through the divorce. Marcia Gay Harden and James Gandolfini, both accomplished actors, shared a deep and supportive friendship. Their bond was evident both on and off screen, with their mutual respect for each other's craft playing a pivotal role in their rapport. One of the more touching anecdotes that illustrates their closeness is how James stood by Marcia during one of the most challenging periods of her life, her divorce from Thaddeus. Gandolfini, known for his warmth and loyalty to his friends, was a pillar of support for Marcia during this time. She's spoken in interviews about how Gandolfini, having gone through a divorce himself, offered her not only emotional support, but also practical advice. 
He understood the emotional toll and complexities of ending a long-term relationship, especially when children are involved. Marcia has often expressed her gratitude for Gandolfini's friendship and support. The sudden passing of James in 2013 was a great shock to many, and the outpouring of grief from the Hollywood community was immense. And among those mourning was Marcia, who shared heartfelt tributes to her dear friend. Marcia's Reveal About Her Future Despite the fact that Marcia has been tight-lipped about the reasons for her divorce from Thaddeus, she is at least more forthcoming about her plans for future weddings. She appeared on The Kelly Clarkson Show recently, and Kelly had a rather direct question for her guest. She asked Marcia flat out if she'd ever get married again. Harden had an answer ready, almost blurting it out before Clarkson could finish the question. She said, hell no, hell no. But she also added that the divorce allowed her to grow and find herself more. She said, quote, I'm falling in love with myself. After I got divorced, I fell in love with myself. And she certainly doesn't need to have a wedding to keep loving herself. So for the time being, it sounds as if Marsha will stay unwed for the foreseeable future. She's also been focusing her time on helping her mother. In recent years, Marsha has been vocal about her mother's battle with Alzheimer's disease. In 2018, she released a memoir titled The Seasons of My Mother, a memoir of love, family, and flowers, in which she explored their relationship and the impact of the disease. Through both personal trials and professional successes, Marsha Gay Harden's openness about her experiences has resonated with many, offering insights into the life of a talented actress who faces the same challenges and triumphs as anyone else. Other facts about Marsha While Marsha has been quite private about her personal life, she did reveal some notable tidbits about her children. She has talked about how her older child, Eulala, identifies as non-binary. And of her younger twins, her son Hudson is gay and her child Julita is gender fluid. Marsha's free time is often spent taking care of her kids, but she's also known to be quite fond of pottery. She originally picked it up in high school, but found herself drawn to it again while she was in Angels in America in the 90s. She also practices the Japanese art of flower arranging known as Ikebana. Marsha's mom had learned the art while living in Japan and taught it to Marsha afterwards. Marsha even brought some of her work onto the Martha Stewart show and gave a demonstration of the process on the show as well. Clearly, Marsha Gay Harden is a powerful and respected actress whose career continues to flourish regardless of what's going on in her personal life. And despite the fact that she had to go through a divorce in 2012, it appears that she's at least in a good headspace about it and about her love for herself. And only time will tell if she chooses to find someone new to date and or get married to. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Marsha Gay Harden should at least look for love again? Or is it acceptable for someone to thrive only on self-love? Let us know in the comments section below.